Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is delete middle element of a stack and it is an easy level problem. So I don't know like what is happening these days. We are getting uh, easy problems and even if we are getting medium problems, they are not very difficult. So like making these videos is getting more and more boring. I request Geeks for Geeks to give us some good problems so that uh, we can again enjoy solving them. Anyways, so this problem says that we have been given a stack and we have to delete the middle element of a stack. Now they have also defined what is the middle element of a stack. I will tell you with the help of an example. So with this particular line that they have given us in the note, they are asking us to assume that this is going to be the top of the stack and the second element, the third element, fourth element and this will be the bottom of the stack. And we have to delete the middle element from the bottom of the stack. They have given us something and I uh, will tell you what this essentially means. And let us have a look at this space and time complexity. So it is O of n for both space and time. Right. So let us have a look what they are trying to say. Now if I create one more stack of uh, let us say odd size. So this is 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right. So this is a stack of size 5, 3, 4 and 5. So I have to keep these two elements. I have to keep the topmost two elements and I have to delete this particular element. Right. And since uh, the input will be in the form of a straight line like this input will be somewhat like this they have asked us to assume that this is going to be at the top and this is going to be the bottom so obviously we are going to pop elements from here now let us have a look at the definition the definition what they had so they have defined middle element like this so it is the seal of size of stack plus one by two from the bottom of the stack so basically, uh, if uh, I take the size of the stack, in this case it is 5, then I do plus 1, then I divide by 2. So it will be equals to 3. So this is the first element, this is the second element, this is the third element. In case, in case this whole value was even, let's say the size was initially 6. So it will be 6 plus 1 by 2. So it is essentially going to be 7 by 2, which is also 3. So it is the same element that I still have to remove. In both of the cases, you will see. If I just ignore this complex definition, you can observe one thing. Let's say that the size was 5 and was still here, right? So if I do 5 by 2, I have to remove two elements from the top of the stack. You see, these are two elements from the top of the stack. Let's say the size was 6. Then I have to remove 6 by 2, that is three elements from the top of the stacks. So this will be those three elements. And in both of the cases, I will still be left with this particular element as the top of the stack finally which is the actual element that I had to remove right so uh, I help you to transform this complex uh, uh, situation into a more simpler one and uh, what you have to do is you have to pop n by 2 elements from the top of the stack and store it somewhere else for now now their final stack that you currently have will have the element to be removed at the top of the stack Right. So if you remove these elements, the element 3 will come at the top and now you have to remove it. So you can easily remove it by just doing s.pop. Now you must have stored these elements somewhere. You can push back it into the original stack and get your final answer. So basically, let me just explain you this part once again. So if I just erase this. Now, first of all, let us assume that the size is 5. Right. So they are saying we have to do 5 plus 1 by 2 and that is coming out to be 3 right so they say that we have to remove the third element from the bottom which is this one right so this element has to be removed now let's say the size is 6 so we have to remove 7 by 2 that is again coming out to be 3 so we have to remove this same element from here right so this is our observation now a simpler way to say the same thing is if i just take let me just raise all of this if I just take size of the array, in this case, or the size of the stack, the size is 5, and I do divide by 2, I am going to get 2, right? So I am going to say that I want to remove and store two elements from the top of the stack, right? So these will be those two elements, and the element that has to be removed, finally, will be at the top of the stack, finally. So basically, if I remove these two elements, this will be at the top now, right? Similarly, let's say the size was 6, right? So 6 by 2 is 3 now I am saying that I want to remove three elements from the top of the stack right so these will be those three elements that will be removed and stored somewhere else 
now again that that element that has to be removed finally will come at the top of the stack right so i can just easily pop it out of the stack at that particular moment so what about those elements that i am removing initially and storing somewhere else so let's say this is somehow the stack and these elements i have to remove and store somewhere else so this will be the first element so it will get stored somewhere in a stack like this now the second element let's say this is one this is two so this is one and this is two on the top of it in another stack right and i'll be left with three elements then among these three elements i don't want this element at all so i am going to pop it out directly and then i'll be left with two elements and with these two elements what i'm going to do i'm going to restore the elements from this particular stack where i stored them temporarily so i pop from here and store here so two will be here and then the last element one will be here so you see the order is still preserved because i use the stack for the tactical operation so basically you have to find the value of n by 2 you have to take the n by 2 elements from the top of the stack into some other stack right and after removing this top element which was essentially to be removed you can restore these n by 2 elements back into the original stack right so the overall time complexity will be o of n and the space complexity will be o of n as well right so this was all about this problem of the day now let me just show you the code so what i have done is i have created a value called to remove and this is size of stack by 2 right and i have also initialized another stack called store so while to remove is greater than 0 so basically while to remove minus minus will run this while loop to remove times so that is stack of size by 2 and what i am going to do is i am going to take the top element in my original stack and store it in my another stack called store now i remove it from the original stack now the top of the stack contains that element that has to be removed from my stack so that is why i can just directly pop it so now i run the restoration part where i just restore the values from the store array so while store dot size i just push the top element in the store stack into my original stack and just remove it from my source stack so this was all about let us follow the day since this is this particular stack is passed by reference everything will be updated in the original stack and uh, i can just submit and show you that this particular approach works So you see it passes all the test cases and i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and you'll be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems so subscribe to this channel because i see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet in case you're one of them then definitely consider subscribing Share this channel with your friends. Until the next video drops, keep coding. Stay safe. Bye bye.